Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes and this is actually video number four in my Shop My Closet Coats collection series. Uh, so far we've done velvet coats, faux fur coats, long coats, and this final section is jackets. So these all are like about hip length jackets and we're starting off this although this could have gone into the faux fur category I had to do some rearranging to try and balance out <laughs> so I wouldn't have too many in one and not enough in another um, although I, I don't think I, I did even amounts but you know close enough but this is actually by Trip New York City it does have the faux fur trim at the collar and cuffs it has these big hooks and eyes for closure but they're like so far away it's really weird <laughs> Again, this was something I had purchased. But yeah, so hook, the hooks go across like that. This, this is something that I had purchased when I was a little bit smaller than I am now. <laughs> I mean, it, it still kind of fits and it's stretchy, but hooking it isn't super comfortable, so we won't be doing that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the, the first coat or jacket. These are my, I guess, my jackets. So this is the first in my jackets and I actually at one time I had so many of these trip little trip jackets I still have a couple but I used to have so many of these that I've got I did actually get rid of some over the years but let's move on to our next one here we have another one of those little denim trip jackets let's see if I can zip this one up again you know another jacket that I I did purchase when I was a little bit slimmer than I am now. This one's confusing because it actually has two zipper heads, so I guess you could zip it. Like if I can, if I can get this one zipped up. But yeah, so you could unzip it from the bottom, so you could do like something like that, I guess. So that's interesting. Uh, it also has hook and eyes at these cuffs. And it's, it's a little tight on me, but the, the denim is pretty stretchy, so. So let's move on to another one. Next up, this is a genuine leather coat from Wilson's Leather. I don't remember if any of you remember Wilson's Leather. They used to be in malls all over the place. I have no idea if they still exist, but there was a outlet store in Potomac Mills Mall that I used to shop at all the time. Um, I don't think I have very many of my leather pieces left, but I do still have this this jacket, which is way too small for me. There's like no way that would get zipped up. Definitely purchased when I was a lot tinier than I am now. <laughs> but like we're finally on to, I guess this is my fourth category of coats, my fourth coat video. And this is a coat that I'll probably actually uh, be decluttering at some point. <laughs> like the rest of them, even the other ones that I've tried on that didn't fit, I'm like, but I love them. But this is, this is one I could probably part with. <laughs> and I probably will part with it at some point. <laughs> so let's move on to a new one. Now this is a vintage leather coat that I've had since the early 90s. <laughs> Like I've had this since high school. Uh, my mom bought this at uh, some sort of maybe an antique shop, but she bought it when she on a trip to Canada, and she actually brought it back for my brother. Uh, but I think it might have been just a touch too small for him. Uh, he he was at the time a very lanky gentleman, <laughs> but um, so I got it because, like I said, I don't think it fit him. It, this is in terrible condition. Like, I had a cat use it as a scratching post at one point, <laughs> which just looks like road burn, so it just gives me some street cred. Because <laughs> it is a motorcycle jacket. And the zipper is coming off here at the bottom. There's all sorts of cracks and tears in the leather. It does have a nice inside pocket. And it is now too small for me. There's no way I'm going to get this zipped up at this point in my life. But this is, like I was just talking about, this is one of those pieces that even though it doesn't exactly fit me anymore, I don't want to let go of it. This has so much sentimental value. My brother actually put these studs on for me. I love this coat. Like, like I said, this one, this one just has sentimental value. So that's why I can't get rid of this one. <laughs> but 
this was definitely something I wore a lot back in my more punk phase because I was slightly more punk back in the early 90s before I went pretty much totally goth. <laughs> so yeah, let's move on to a new one. So this is a leather motorcycle coat. I actually had a motorcycle back when I was, I believe I bought it when I was 25. Um, and I, I had it for several years. And this was the motorcycle coat that I did purchase. It, you can see that it has like the, uh, the quilting in it for extra padding. And you know, it's, I can't, it doesn't fit me anymore. Again, I was much smaller back then. It's like, it's so weird when you try on things that used to fit you, because you're like, how was I ever that tiny? <laughs> <laughs> but it does have like the inside pocket like motorcycle coats often do it's a it's a pretty nice motorcycle coat it's in pretty good condition the zippers they're on the sleeves um you know it's a motorcycle coat what can you say <laughs> And I believe we only have two more coats left in this category. Here we have another one of those really cute denim trip New York City coats. Uh, it zips up and then has these little like loops and buttons. Uh, it has a hood with a fur trim. So this could have also gone into the faux fur category. <laughs> but I saved it for this category. <laughs> but and this hood is removable. And this one just barely fits me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I bought all of these Trip New York City coats in the mid 2000s. <laughs> and we only have one left to try. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> I have one more left to try after this. This coat is by a company called Red Balls. I do seem to remember buying a lot from them back in, I think that would have been like the early mid 2000s. Uh, this again, when I was a lot tinier, can't get that buttoned. I honestly forgot I even had this coat. <laughs> and now we're gonna try on the final coat. <laughs> The final coat is yet another Trip New York City coat. This one isn't denim. This one is just like a stretchy, you know, fabric. I have no idea, but not denim like the, uh, the other ones have been. It's got these cute straps at the side. It does button up. It's very stretchy um, and I could probably button it, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I could button it. There we go. But again, it is just a little bit too small for me. And it does have these little pockets with these little straps on them. So that is it. We have finished my coat collection. Thank you for watching video four. If you haven't seen the other videos, uh, I will probably have put at least a timestamp for one of them <laughs> somewhere up in the cards at some point. Uh, <laughs> But let me know if you enjoyed this coat series. I guess it's too late now if you didn't because I already filmed all four. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. <laughs> and please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.